Hey dudes, I'm Curious Oddity 101, but you can call me Curie, and welcome back to Portal. Now, uh, I'm nearing the end here. This is probably going to be the last episode of this series. I'll be honest, I thought this would take a bit longer to get through. I guess I forgot how short this game is. Um, so, if you're a little disappointed in the uh, how in how short this is, um, I would be willing to do a couple little one-shot episodes where I go through a couple of the advanced chambers. They're pretty much exactly what they sound like. They're like normal test chambers, but there's something been changed to make them a little bit more difficult. Uh, so if that's something you might want to see, you know, drop a comment. Um, I will be playing Portal 2 eventually. Not right yet, though. I would kind of like to space it out a bit. Um, so that's also something to look forward to. Uh, in the meantime, well, you know, final battle. This should be a lot of fun. Um, spoiler alert, there's some really good dialogue. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, right, wrong color. Which one up? Yeah, right, no, sorry, they all open ones. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting they all open ones. I run, um, luckily, because of the way they're, uh, situated, they can't see you if you're in a room with another portal most of the time. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to go for the one in the middle. With the tilted flap over it. Now, I have had situations in the past where I've accidentally uh, gotten shot through a portal because of where the other one ended up in the chamber with the turret. <laughs> uh oh, one turret shot another turret. Hmm, maybe if I crouch I can see under this. Yes, I can. Unfortunately, you can see me. No, wrong thing. You know, I didn't even know you could shoot on the under underside of the tilted panels. I guess there's stuff even I don't know about this game still. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now let's try something else. I can see where that turret is, so I can just shoot a portal underneath it. Whee. Over here. Uh, what about this? I, I don't have a very good angle, so I probably can't do this properly over here, but... Hey, it worked! I think probably, like, one of its legs fell through. Uh, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Oops. Okay. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to take my hand off the mouse for a second. That's why it jerks like that. Alright. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Now, what I really need is this one, so I'm just gonna put a portal over here. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? What am I stuck on? Um, I can't move. I can't move! What the heck? Uh, this is not a glitch I've ever encountered before. Let's try this. This should help. There we go. Oops. The nice thing about movement glitches in this game is portals solve everything. Whee! <laughs> now, I actually need to get up through there, so... Just gotta backtrack a little bit. Whoops. <laughs> I ended up shooting the ceiling. I meant to shoot the walls. Okay, well... <laughs> I fucked up. Let's try that again. Whoa! Okay, I have that portal up too high. There we go, let's- nope, that's the same height, whatever. I'll just be more careful. There we go. Alright. Um... Right. I forgot- I, I would like- I was like, wait, where's the- where's the next place I need to go? It's right behind me. So, this is one of the things that's like really, like, a hallmark of the aesthetic design of the first Portal game. 
which is like catwalks over yawning nothingness that really serves no purpose and could be better s and would be it like aperture science could fill this space with useful stuff but if it did that it wouldn't be aperture science aperture science can't be efficient yeah, well okay more research place and good to know that even after the glados apocalypse there's still a projector running and it's showing the only uh, PowerPoint in the history of humanity to ever actually be interesting because this is the PowerPoint that explains the creation of GLaDOS and, you know, gives her name and all that. Genetic life form and disk operating system. Um, it also details a bit of the rivalry between Aperture Science and Black Mesa. Black Mesa is like the big company in half in the half-life games and aperture science it, you know portal it, it was designed to uh advertise the half-life games so as like a neat little thing they made aperture science like a corporate rival of black mesa only like super inefficient and probably black mesa didn't see them as an actual rival because well for reasons that are more apparent in the second portal game all right Big old catwalk of doom. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Because despite your violent behavior, the only Oops. thing you've managed to that. break so far is my heart. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. Never mind. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Bye. I actually wanna- I wouldn't bother with that thing. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. I'm not trying to touch it. I just wanted to point this out real quick. The whole red phone with the cord cut. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. The uh, developer commentary talks about how this is kind Do of a you joke. Think I'm trying to trick you with reverse psychology. I mean, seriously now. They had like a red phone in case the AI went evil, and obviously that didn't work out. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. Okay. Where are you taking that thing? It's funny, I hadn't actually started moving Neither yet by the time she knows what that thing does. Just put it in the corner, and I'll deal with it later. That's pretty much what I'm doing. See this? Our old friend, the incinerator. That thing is probably some kind of raw sewage container. Go ahead and rub your face all over it. <laughs> I love that line, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, you know, remember this? Maybe remember this? Maybe you should marry that thing since you love it so much. Do you want to marry it? Well, I won't let you. How does that feel? I love her lines in this so much. But yeah, no, it, it incinerated the traitor cube. Oh, now we're going to incinerate you? this I mean, unknown thing. In this room, trust me, leave that thing alone. Yeah. Oh, right. This thing's on a very short timer. I am being serious now. That crazy thing is not part of any test protocol. Do you think I'm here for a test? You're not my teacher. Just ignore that thing and stand still. Standing still won't be a problem if my controls keep messing up. Whoa, whoa. If that thing is important, why don't I know about it? Well, I feel like a lot of people aren't consciously aware of their spleen, and that thing was part of you. I'll tell you what that thing isn't. It isn't yours. You're kidding me. Did you just set that Aperture Science thing we don't know what it does into an Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator? That has got to be the dumbest thing that- Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoops. I'm stuck on the stairs. Come on. Good news. I figured out what that thing you just incinerated did. It was a morality core they installed after I flooded the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin to make me stop flooding the enrichment center with a deadly neurotoxin. So get comfortable while I warm up the neurotoxin emitters. Sorry for any creaking noises you just heard in the background. That was my fault. Responsibilities. I can't shut off the turret defenses. Oh well. If you want my advice, you should just lie down in front of a rocket. Trust me. Oops. It'll be less painful than the neurotoxin. 
All right. All right. Keep doing whatever it is you think you're doing. Killing you and giving you good advice are not mutually exclusive. The rocket really is the way to go. Uh, she keeps saying this even if you, like, that thing you go further in this. important to me. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. It may choose for orphans. Nice job breaking it, hero. There we go. This isn't brave. It's murder. What did I ever do to you? The difference between us is that I can feel pain. You don't even Ooh. care, do you? Uh, if it's not clear, my key to move forward is sticking for some reason. Whoa! Fuck. Did you hear me? I said you don't care. Are you listening? Not really. Okay. For some reason it was moving me sideways when I was pressing forwards. I'm not sure what's going on with my controls. It's not the game. I'm done reasoning with you. Who are you? Starting now, what there's going to be a lot less conversation and a lot more killing. That thing has numbers on it. Hey, this is my favorite core. The curiosity core. Oh, what's wrong with your legs? Like, this is my all-time favorite core in the entirety of the Portal series, and that will probably never change, even if they make Portal 3. I sincerely hope you weren't expecting a response, because I'm not talking to you. The talking is over. It doesn't say much, but I love what it does say. Oops. What is that? Oh, that thing has numbers on it. Hey, look at that thing. No, that Come other on. thing. Oh, no, the controls what's wrong again. With your legs? Where are we going? So, as you are, you are aware, this is on a oh, hey, very short test? time limit for the amount of stuff that I need to get done. Um, so, oh, if I die, it'll probably be because my controls are having issues. Oh, you think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. Whoa, whoa. In base four, I'm fine. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy that part of me. Unfortunately, as much as I'd love to know, I can't get the neurotoxin into your head any faster. I'd just like to point out that you were given every opportunity to succeed. There was even going to be a party for you. A big party that all your friends were invited to. I invited your best friend, the companion kid. He's not my friend! Of course, he couldn't come because you murdered him. All your other friends couldn't come either because you don't have any other friends. Because of how unlikable you are. It says so right here in your personnel file. Unlikable. Liked by no one. A bitter, unlikable loner whose passing shall not be mourned. Shall not be mourned. That's exactly what it says. Very formal. Very official. It also says you were adopted. So that's funny too. Speaking of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess what? I know. You're going to find out firsthand before I finish explaining it though, so I won't bother. Here's a hint. You're gonna want to pack as much living as you can into the next couple of minutes. Oh. Eh. That thing you burned up isn't important to Okay, cool. So she's done talking about the fear ass. Um, I just wanted you guys to hear all of that because I thought- I- I'll- I- uh, wow, it actually shot me when I was trying to talk about it. Um, I just think that the dialogue is really fun and funny, and um, I wanted to give her uh, plenty of time to say all that, but also I was like trying to test out the controls to see if they were still having issues. Naturally, they didn't start having issues again uh, just then, but they probably will now. Trust me, it'll be a lot less painful than the neurotoxin. Alright, right. keep doing whatever it is. <laughs> you know, it does have to actually hit. Okay. The rocket really is the way to go. Now, uh, of course, like I mentioned before, I absolutely love the Curiosity Core. It's my favorite. And killing it over here, I mean, it didn't used to because... I actually, I think the last time I played Portal before now was um, before the uh, TV show Hannibal went, came out on NBC. But, like, now that I have seen that show and I'm a big fan of it, um, 
This part of the game kind of reminds me of this one line in it. They kill and eat what they love. Or no, they love and kill what they love and eat what they love. That was it. It's technically two lines said by two people and now I'm stuck again. Fuck! I don't know- oh no, it was the controls. I was like, I was gonna say, I don't know if I got caught on the portal or if that was the controls. It was the controls. Okay. There we go. I do like the 2 plus 2 is 10 in base 4 joke. That one's fun. I mean, I like everything she says in this fight. I don't know, I just- I really like the dialogue in this- Ah, she was out of- she tilted out of the way. You've managed to destroy that part of me. I think she like moves more the farther through this you get. I don't remember for sure though. Okay, so that lands on that ledge up there, and there's no actual way to get to it without portaling. Whee! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, lag there. This is the cake core. It's also amazing. It lists out a bunch of random cake uh, ingredients. However, unlike the curiosity core, which only says like a few things before it repeats itself, the list of ingredients that the cake core gives out is really, really, really long. So I'm not just gonna stand here and let it keep talking, unfortunately, because some of the ingredients are really funny. Like there's one part where it's like listing a bunch of rhubarb, and it's like two tablespoons rhubarb, two tablespoons whole and peeled rhubarb, two tablespoons uh, orange rhubarb, I think is one of them, and then one of them is two tablespoons rhubarb on fire, and that one's my favorite, because it's like, what the fuck? What the- oh my god! The incinerator started closing and it launched the core. Anyway, as you guys can see, the uh, the turret takes a nice little nap whenever there's a core off of GLaDOS. Not really sure why that happens aside from game mechanic reasons. It would be a lot more difficult to deal with the uh, with the cores and the incinerator and stuff if the uh, turret was still trying to kill you. Ah, crap. So I missed the incinerator that time. I'm, uh, I'm not sure how, but I did. The difference between us is that I can feel pain. Ugh. You don't even care, do you? Oh, come on! What are you- What? What? That was weird. Neurotoxin. I promise this game isn't normally so glitchy. So <laughs> Joking. That was fucking weird. When I said death, oh, whoops. I forgot. This is something she says as a the cake core only. Okay, cool. I can take a in this stuff. Put it on cereal, rub it right into my eyes. Honestly, it's not deadly at all. To me. You, on the other hand, are going to find its deadliness a lot less funny. Who's gonna make the cake when I'm gone? Okay. You, look. You're wasting your time. And believe me, you don't have a whole lot left to waste. What's your point, anyway? Survival. Well then, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you. Which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. You've been wrong about every single thing you've ever done, including this thing. You're not smart. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not even a full-time employee. Where did your life go so wrong? Are you trying to escape? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Because I'm walking directly into stuff. What's going on out there will make you wish. Alright, for a while I was dodging it so that she could say her piece, but then I remembered that Eva- If- if I knock the core off, she'll keep talking, so I'll just kill her now. Well, get the next core off anyway. Well, I was. Unless you have a plan for building some simple computer parts in a big hurry. This place isn't going to be safe much longer. Good job on that, by the way. Sarcasm is here, self-test complete. Stop squirming and die like an adult or I'm going to delete your backup. Stop! There we go. Okay, no, I deleted it. No, 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 no. around a little, but believe me, you're dead. The part of you that could have survived indefinitely is gone. I just struck you from the permanent record. Your entire life has been a mathematical error. A mathematical error. I'm about to correct. 
I don't remember this That's core hanging in midair like this. I remember it landing on something. It's the fluid catalytic cracking unit. And she's back it talking about shoes. Nice job breaking it, hero. Whoa, what the hell? That was weird. What in the f okay, I'm gonna This isn't brave. I just I'm dying. It's that was fucking weird. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not really sure what's going on. This game is like glitching out and stuff, and I don't really know why. Mostly it's my controls, but some of the stuff, like, I do not remember the core being suspended in midair like that. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Okay, time to kill GLaDOS and actually mean it this time. But yeah, she seems to move more the. Uh, more damaged she is, right. or at least the more cores you've killed, because I don't- you're not really damaging her directly for the most part. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, um, so, if you ever doubt how much I love this game slash how much of a fucking dork I am, uh, there was this one time when, okay, come on. There was this one time when I played, uh, I played this game and I got to this, I, I got to this battle and I was holding, look, I had the, fuck, I had the Kate core, right? And you know how I mentioned that the Kate core has like a really long spiel that it says? Um, basically I was playing this and I had the Kate core and I had a piece of notebook paper and a pencil, and I wrote down everything the Kate Core said, Did so that I had like a full transcript of what care. of everything the Kate Core said. And I was like, I could have just copied it off the internet, but that wouldn't have been as fun. Anyway, I died like 18 times trying to get it all written down because I can't write very fast. Starting now. Anyway, yeah. So, don't ever doubt the fact that I'm a fucking dork. You think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. In base four, I'm fine. I let you. Okay. Um, all of these like monitors with the lines and stuff, those are for lining up portals. If I put a portal in between any of those, that would help me guide it so that the uh, the rocket does hit Glados. But really, anything at the right height, you can hit GLaDOS, you just have to be careful of the angle that you stand at so that the laser actually does reach for GLaDOS. Companion Cube isn't my friend! He's a traitor and an asshole, and I want nothing to do with him, and also he's dead, so there. Okay, what? Am I stuck on the core? I was stuck on the core. That was weird. No, no, it was my control scan. So yeah, the jerky controls and stuff like that. That's not the game. That's just me. I need to get a new um, thing to whatever. You know what I mean. Speaking of curiosity, you're curious about what happens after you die, right? Guess what? I know. There we go. You're going to find out. Neurotoxin. <laughs> so deadly. Okay. <gasps> Joking. There we go. When I said deadly neurotoxin, the that totally hit her. I saw it. Guys, if you saw that hit her, and, and you think that was bullshit, drop a comment saying that totally hit GLaDOS. The fuck? Oh. Okay, that one knocked one off. Or, well, okay, there's only one left at this point. Alright, so the important thing at this point is to just, just get right up underneath it. Oops, that! Whoa, I didn't mean to fling myself. That's fine, though. Well, then, uh, the last thing you want to do is hurt me. I have your brain there we go. And permanently backed up Basically, doing that gives you more, um, like, if you miss it the first time, you can uh, keep bouncing up through the portal until you got it. This is the anger core. It reminds me of one of my best friends. Not Little Black Dragon. Um... That, that, that's a lie, it's just, in case in case my other best friend is watching this, I just felt like I should say that. Oh, fuck. Whoa. 
Anyway, Anger Core, lots of fun. Honestly, I really like the cores in this game. Like, you know, they're simple except for the Kate Core, but they're a lot of fun. This one doesn't have any actual dialogue, it just uh, makes those angry noises. And there we go. Sarcasm, sphere self test complete. Stop squirming and die like an adult or I'm going to delete your backup. Stop! Okay, you're not. I deleted it. No matter what happens, I'm still dead. You're such a shame, I can never believe you're dead. This uh, animation takes a little bit of time. <laughs> Hopefully, this is fun to watch. I know I enjoy watching it, but hopefully it's fun to watch for you guys. And there she goes, flying up into the ceiling. Well, you know what they say, in case of implosion, look directly at implosion. And in yeah, I'm flying up out of the uh, facility myself. I found a way where you can delay that happening for a little while, but you can't stop yourself from being pulled out of the ceiling, as far as I know. Another tour of the interior of Aperture Science. Now, Portal was the game that familiarized a specific way of getting your players to actually pay attention to the end credits of a game. Just in case you're not familiar. Crap, did I say popularized like I meant, or did I say familiarized? I don't know. It popularized this, is what I meant to say, if that's not what I said before. If it is, ignore me. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying till you run out of cake. And the science gets done, and you make a neat plan for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, I'm torn into pieces and threw every piece into a fire. As they burned, it hurt because I was so happy for you. Now these points of data make a beautiful line. And
So that is still alive. It's also called the Portal Cake Song, in case you want to look it up and listen to it later, which I totally would if I were you. It's a great song, one of my favorite songs of all time. It's also the song that the radios in this game are playing a remix of. The remix is not pleasant to listen to, unlike the song itself. And it was fine when it was just, like, one or two radios in the whole game, but now that there's radios in, like, every single fucking test chamber, oh my god. Anyway, um, so, that was Portal. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, next up after this, I'm going to be playing Sir, You Are Being Hunted, so look forward to that. And yeah, like I said before, if you want to see me play through some of the advanced test chambers in this game, drop in a comment and I'll probably include them at a later date. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. I know I enjoy Portal every single time. And, you know, hope to see you in the next video.